Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. This is my first time fishing the spillway since it's been filled up. It's actually kind of a little bit frowned upon to fish here prior to opening day of walleye season. Usually I don't fish down here this time of year, but today is an extremely windy, freezing cold day. And uh, this spillway here is in a little bit of a canyon as you can see. And this is my go-to spot when it's super windy and unbearable to fish anywhere else. So we're here today, we are targeting Trout, crappie, and smallmouth, and catfish. You know, we'll try and not catch any walleye and disturb them, but we've also caught some giant crappie and trout down here. If you watch my channel, you know that. So, in fact, my PB crappie was out of this spot. The original plan today was to fish for crappie. We wanted to go to Chautauqua Lake. <laughs> All right, first fish of the day. I gotta get my lines in and out of his way. Ben just got a big, huge old red horse sucker. In season. <laughs> He's like, I got a big bass. <laughs> that ain't no bass. <laughs> well, if that was a bass, it'd actually technically be out of season because it's on live bait. Do you want me to run down there and try and unhook it for you? Or do you want to go down there and I can just hold that? <laughs> Man. You got your PA license? Oh, I was going to say, you can bring it to PA and fish for musky. <laughs> Take it to Willow Bay, he's right down the road. Yeah, he's not much of a fighter. <laughs> no, he's... I've caught suckers that have fought pretty hard. This thing's... <laughs> Do you want your picture with it? No. <laughs> I guess, sir. That'd be, a, that'd be a pretty hilarious picture. <laughs> yeah, he's alive. There he goes. All right, well, we're on the board. Benji's on the board. I missed something big on the pin. That might have been it, though. <laughs> it looked like a walleye to me. Bass, nice, sweet. And he's on an artificial, so we're we're legal. <laughs> sweet. Hey, what did I tell you? Yeah, it's not bad size. Nothing huge. Nope, but it's a start. Cool. Got T-boned by something. I think it's a smallie. Walleye. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm the first one to catch an out-of-season fish. <laughs> nice. You'd be good eater size. Here we go. Alrighty, buddy. See you next week. Benji's locked up again. Just said we we're gonna take our last couple casts and got a bass or an eye. Looked like I thought I saw a fork tail. <laughs> That's an eye. <laughs> Not this weekend. <laughs> Next weekend. There he goes. To the next fishing spot. This used to be too grown in to walk down here. I haven't been down here in like five, six years. Um, I don't know if somebody cleared it out or I guess we're just here early enough where it's not too grown in yet. See something interesting back here though. I want to check it out. Oh, it's a dock. That's what it is. I thought it was a boat for a second. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a dock. Cool. Looks like there's another fishing spot back here, too. This is cool. Always fun to do some exploring. Yeah, there's definitely another fishing spot back here. <laughs> oh, man, Benji just missed a monster pike. <laughs> man, I told you a pike was going to show his face before the end of the day. Benji got one down at the farther down spot. Is that an eye, or is that a pike? Little pike. Alrighty, well. Told you a pike was gonna show its face. That's like not even an eighth the size of the one that he missed. <laughs> Alrighty, there goes our first pike of the day. Hoping to get on a school of big old smallmouth down here, but seems to be mainly pike down this way. <laughs> We're starting to make our way back. Did you get wet? 
Nice. Starting to make our way back, and uh, I mean, I wore muck boots, Benji forgot his. <laughs> I guess we had a fun adventure in the woods back there, fishing. Was was a little bit slower back there. It seemed to be a lot more pike in that area, though. Benji missed a monster pike, and then uh, obviously caught that little tiny one. But we're back at the main spillway now. It's tapped. Yeah, that's a bite. We made our way back up to the top of the spillway, just doing some bait fishing now. We're, we both work physical jobs, and both of us have sore backs from casting and working, so we're just kind of being bait and bucket fishermen at the moment. Let's see what happens. I just had a nibble. Check it and see if anything's on it. Oh yeah, there's a fish on here. <laughs> what is that? Dude, what is that? There's no way that's a bass. It might be my catfish. No, it's a, it's a giant sucker, I think. It's an absolutely giant sucker. <laughs> I had a nibble, so I was just checking my pole in case it was a big sucker. I want my picture. That thing's huge. That's bigger than yours. Goalie's right in the mouth, too. And off you go. I'm going to hand on you. I can revive you. Uh, I guess he's all right on his own. Sooner did I get mine off the line, now Benji's got another one. <laughs> it's fun just catching fish. They aren't fighting as hard as I feel like they normally do, I don't know. Maybe it's just the angle we're at up on the wall here. <laughs> Is mine still chilling there? I don't see it. It might be though. Alright. There goes sucker number three. Definitely a bite, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I don't know how to hook a bite like that. Well, after that tapping business, I'm going to check my pole and make sure there's not a sucker on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is the hardest fight in one of the day so far. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird bite that they're doing. <laughs> I don't even know. This is number two for me. Four on the day. Uh. It's smaller than my last one. That one fought the hardest, though. When they give up, they give up, though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Edward scissor hands here. Cool. Fortunately, they've all been right in the mouth, even despite being on the line for who knows how long. All right, well, you're number two for me. Number four or five on the day, something like that. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to throw you back on the rock. I have the camcorder with me, but big old bald eagle down there. Aw, oh, man, we should have we should have freaking saved that one of them suckers and left it for him. Uh, you're technically, you shouldn't feed wildlife anyway, but uh, we used to feed the bald eagles in the Adirondacks. If we caught smelt or something, you'd leave it on the ice and the eagle would come down and take it. Well, it was a successful day down here below the spillway, I would say. I mean, fishing wasn't anything spectacular, but we landed some fish, we caught some suckers, which are always fun. Definitely got down here on the right day to catch red horse suckers. But uh, we're gonna head up to Quaker Lake for our last 15 minutes or so. The winds have finally seemed to have died down. That was the main reason we fished here today, uh, just to get out of the wind. Trout school is officially coming this way. I think that worked. I think the Osprey spooked them towards us. Thank you, Mr. Osprey. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about smashing the water. Ospreys are fishing, we're fishing. Trouts are schooling. They're coming closer and closer to shore. When we started off, the trout were way the heck out there. They keep getting closer and closer. 
We're hoping to land one before we leave, but it's getting late now. Get a shot of our friend, Mr. Osprey. On the lookout for stock trout. They're cool birds. Brought the camcorder with me. We've been seeing so many birds when we were down below the spillway. Might be a loon down there on the bank. I'm not sure if that's a loon or a merganta. Zoom in and see if we can figure it out. I think that's a merganta. <laughs> I think that's a merganta. It might be a loon though. Loons come through the park this time of year and they're really cool. Finally spotted the bald eagle. Saw him fly down there, so I knew he was down below the spillway somewhere. Saw him acting like he was going to land. Looks like he's eating something. What kind of fish have you got there, buddy? Might be one of our suckers that didn't make it. <laughs> it's like he knows I'm, I'm filming him. He doesn't want to peck at it. He's definitely got something. Oh, no, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's got the fish, too. There he goes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Just so you guys can see, I'm not disturbing him. <laughs> We're way up here on the road. <laughs> He's way down there. So, you know, if you're going to film bald eagles and stuff, it's always good to get a camera that can zoom. Well, we caught fish. It was a good salvage day. You know, it was windy, cold, freezing, horrible day. Things got really nice here at the end, but we didn't catch anything at Quaker Lake. Tomorrow's supposed to be a tiny bit nicer, so probably try for trout or something. It was a good day. Got that bald eagle on film at the end. That was cool. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure. These holes really just aren't that conducive to, to spinner or spoon fishing, lure fishing in general, let's say. So we we're going to go ahead and cheat and put on a night crawler. Got it on a barbless hook there. I missed a, a trout in this hole that was probably just under 20 a couple years ago. So if he's still in here, it's going to be well over 20 now. Make sure my drag's set just in case. No bites that time. This is as good a cast as I'm going to get. There's a trout. Oh. That went on. Missed one on that turn, though. Ooh, another perfect cast. One we hooked there didn't seem that. I mean, it wasn't small, but it wasn't you no know, 20 incher. Then we went down without getting bit. No, no, we got bit. Alrighty, are you a trout or what? What are you? You're a trout. Cool. Well, it's a start to the day. It's just a little guy, but... Oh, this net's overkill for this thing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this net is way overkill for this little guy, but... Nice. Uh, cool. He's hooked right in the corner of the mouth, just barely. Good start to the day. I guess we'll go ahead and release him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Cool.